Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Katrina and we're still on that weight loss journey. It is Sunday um, and I'm just going to show you a couple of things here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use some of that steak that y'all saw me grill the other day. Um, I'm going to cut some of that up and I've got some broccoli. So we're going to make a little bit of a beef and broccoli to have for one of our meals. Um, so let me go ahead and get the pans out get everything heated up and then we'll be right back and you're going to watch it sizzle. All right, guys, here's some of that steak that I had put on the grill. I still got all of this in here. Yeah, we're going to make some meals here and I'm just going to go ahead and cut this into thin strips because we're going to use this to go in the beef and the broccoli. We're going to keep that fat out. One of the dogs are going to love that, aren't they? Okay. All right. We've got that. I'm going to cut a little bit more in there, I think. It's probably going to end up being about two meals because I got quite a bit of broccoli I want to cook there. Y'all know my favorite vegetable is just having my salad. And um, I'm not big on just eat cooking vegetables and eating them. I don't know why. All right, that should probably be enough for two meals. I've got the pan getting hot. I put a little bit of oil down in the bottom here. I am going to throw this broccoli I had all cut up already. I'm going to throw that in there. I guess I could have cut those up a little bit smaller, but I had them for a different reason and then decided not to have them for that reason. So let me just cut some of these big stems off, y'all. So how is everybody? I know it's Sunday, so you're probably not that happy that tomorrow is Monday and it's time to get our butts back to work. Ugh. But hey, we got to pay the bills, right? We got to pay the bills. All right, so I've got this in here. And what I'm going to do is I am going to add just a tightsy, tightsy, tightsy a bit of salt like that. Because I'm going to put some other seasonings in there. So I'm going to put a little bit. I'm just going to go around like real quick. One, two. Well, it was like four, but it wasn't coming out fast because I don't have a lot. And then I'm going to also put a little bit of this. I'm not sure if you guys have ever had it. This is oyster sauce. Can you see it? Okay, this is what I like to use, and I really like it. And you don't need a lot. I'm just going to drizzle, 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 just a little bit. That was probably a teaspoon altogether, to be honest with you, okay? Now, I'm going to take and I'm going to cover with my foil here because I want those to kind of get a little bit soft before I put the meat in there. going to add a splash of water because I kind of want it to steam in there a little bit. You know what I mean? So I'm going to cover that back up, let it steam in there. So how is everybody doing? I love these. See, my lighting just does not, it's not good here, honey. Maybe I should turn that light off. Now you can probably see it better, right? I don't know. I can't get the lighting right. I don't know what the deal is. I'm horrible. Horrible. Anyway, 
So this week I'm going to start going back for my walks, hopefully to another trail because it's been one uh, over a week now since I've gone on my walks and I am not liking it at all. I miss it so, so much and I am not going to let one person ruin what I love to go and do. Um, so anyway... And I want to be, I'm not sure if you guys watch um, any of the Muckbanger channels or anything like that, but if you do, today is Nikocado Avocado's birthday. He is 27 years old today. Good Lord, what I'd give to be 27 again. My son would only be a year old instead of 23 years old. He's going to be 24 this year. Wow. Anyway, I hope you guys are all doing good. Um, I'm doing pretty good. Um, I'm going, I'm, I'm, I'm still eating healthy and stuff, but I'm, I am cutting out a lot more of the carbs again. Um, cause I do feel that I felt better when I did not eat the carbs. Um, and I think I just kind of went overboard when I was saying I was going to eat healthy. And, I, and so I started incorporating bread for sandwiches and a little pasta here, and a potato here. And it, I, it was just too much. It's just too much. So anyway, I'm going back. That's why I'm doing the beef and broccoli, and I got the steak, and I got all that chicken. I boiled some eggs. Let me show you this. I boiled some eggs. And this right here, this is, um, I don't know if you guys watch Be Love, Be Love's Life. She makes a seafood boil. <clears throat> so I put all the spices in here. This is butter, all butter. All this liquid is butter. And I've got all the spices that she uses. I probably changed them up a little bit. And I did not put the Old Bay in mine because I used mine. I put some boiled eggs in here and I've got some chicken legs in here. And then you just eat it with this, this sauce. It's pretty good. I mean, it, but the best way to eat it is, you know, but I can't afford those big king crab legs. She is, I swear, they're like that big around. When I can afford to get those, I'll get those because she eats it with that. Oh my gosh, it looks so amazing. But go check out her channel. Go check out Nick Acado Avocado's channel. You know, I mean, I, I just love watching them eat. And she's lost a lot of weight. And, she, and I asked her on, on her Q&A day, and she did the same thing. I guess she just cut out a lot of carbs and stuff. But she says she really wasn't big on sweets or bread anyway. So, anyway, let's see how this is doing. Oh, I love when it gets that bright green like that. Let's see. And I still like mine to have a little bit of a crunch to it. I do not like soggy vegetables. Mm. I'm going to go ahead and take this out. And only because I'm going to be putting it back in anyway. But let me get rid of this water. Okay, now let's put this back. Here. I have to put it on there because for some reason this the bottom of this pan is not even. All right, now we're going to go ahead and add that steak. My dogs are all under my feet. They're just hoping to pray and a piece of this meat falls, and it's not going to. All right, now we got that steak in there. And I am going to add a little bit of soy sauce to that. Looks like I'm going to need to buy me some more soy sauce. I might as well just use the rest of it. I mean, there's not enough in there to bat a fly, you know. And then a little bit, we're going to go in a little bit more with this oyster sauce. Just a little bit because I want to keep it, still keep it low carb. It's not, I don't want to add too much of the sugars in it. I think this is okay to use. It's, I can't really tell you because I don't know if you've ever looked at these bottles, but look how little that writing is. Like, I can really read that. Good Lord. But I don't think it's too bad. That's why I use it. You know, it's not too high in the sugars and stuff. But it's a real, real, real good flavor. Let's just let that kind of marinate there for just a minute. That sizzled up quite a bit there. I don't want to overcook that meat, so I'm going to go ahead and add that broccoli back in there. And then mix that steak on up in there with it. And this steak, it was a um, top sirloin. And I cooked it on the grill, and I don't cook it on there for very long, you guys, because I like it to stay red because then it is a delicious flavor. 
easy to chew. If you overcook it, it gets very tough. Well, any meat does, so. Okay, so I've got that all in there simmered together. Just gonna let it simmer there together for just a few minutes. Look at there, doesn't that look good? Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off and we're gonna taste it. Just gonna get a little bite. I got a little piece of meat and a little bit of the broccoli. Oh, mm -hmm. everything is cooked just perfectly. Um, the broccoli still has a crunch to it, which I love. I, like I said, I don't like any mushy. So I'm going to split that up, and that's going to be two meals for this week, and one of them might be today. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to come back, and I'm going to show you another recipe a little bit later on or maybe tomorrow, but I wanted to go ahead and show you this recipe for today. I hope you guys are having a blessed Sunday, and be kind to everyone because you never know the struggles they're going through. All right, guys. I love you all. Thank you for coming to my channel. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell so you're always notified. We're going to try to do, you're going to get, start doing some exercises with me too, because I need to get more active on my channel. So we're going to do a little bit more exercise together. Anyways, I love you guys. Have a great Sunday and I will see you soon. And I went ahead. I wanted to tell you, I took some of these sesame seeds and I just sprinkled just a tiny bit over the top. Doesn't that look beautiful? All right, guys, I'll see you soon.